Hi, hello, and welcome back to Operation Blinding Thunder. Yes, it is a cool operation name. No, we don't know whether it's deserved or not yet. Uh, we're touching down with a fairly low-ranking team, uh, doing a bit, a little bit of leveling, a little bit of training. You know how these small UFO operations go by now, I'm sure. Uh, let's touch down, and let's see if this operation name is just really cool for no reason, or the omen of a great battle to come. Uh, I'm putting my money on the former, but you always got to be ready for the latter. Let's see. Big Sky. Strike one is clear to attempt the breach. Alright, so welcome back to Live and Impossible, which is fast becoming a race against time. Or rather than time, I should say, uh, a race against one man's growing ego and inability to regard the aliens as threats. Yes, that's right. It's a race against every week I play TNX, murder everything, and then come back to this and almost kill myself because I go too hard. Uh, so, it's a race because we have to finish the campaign before I end up killing myself by saying I am invincible and then disappearing under, uh, like, just, just like a million berserker and ethereal corpses laid on top of me. Um, so what we're gonna have to do here is we still have quite a low rank squad here, regardless of how late in the campaign or how good our tech or how, you know, big a brain I like the tavern I have. Uh, you know, this squad is still fairly low power. So what we're gonna want to do is stick to long sight lines to best exploit our machine gun and our sniper support. Uh, but, by the same token, we are going to want to keep to a route that does have some short range cover of bonuses, um, because we've got Morgan, and Morgan is like the strongest unit on the map right now. <coughs> Not counting uh, the... <coughs> the mechs! <coughs> We're going to kill all the aliens, uh, and that's generally the idea here. We're going to stick to uh, wide sight lines, uh, and that's really that's really the, the long and the short of it. Let's go, Schnugath. Let's do it. Aye, aye, Commander. Schnugath hasn't got much play since his accident. Position confirmed. Schnugath's back, baby, though. Schnugath's back now. Schnugath's back. Moving. Okay. Jive presenting some much needed mid-range firepower, which will be very helpful. Time to motor. Soylent and Krull, Hawk unit, Rolling definitely out. more on the long range side of where you want to be engaging from. Badum. And Morgan, of course, the short range honey. Moving out. The short range metaphorical chainsaw that you throw at your enemies. Scanning. Okay, Bush is roughly on the left. I suspect we may just have some contact over here. Will do. We've got some kind of heavy mech out there. You can hear that much. I'm on it, Commander. But that wasn't on our left. Now we've got something that rustles over here. I'd like to think it's cute little sectoids, okay. but really anything could be rustling over here. On my way. Mm-hmm. Roll up Payfork. Roll up Jive. Prowler. Move I'm around the back. Commander. You're gonna free up that spot for Soylent. Soylent's gonna move right. up. And then Hawk unit can get themselves in position. Let's say over here. Time to motor. Moving to Overwatch. Pistols out for the lads. You got your studded gun. We are ready. Listen. So Morgan's definitely the powerhouse and most survivable. That survivable, I should say. But uh, I think Petite's definitely got the most damage. She's probably the most lethal unit on the map right now. So I want to make sure we use her as best as we can. Okay, let's go ahead and scout up with Morgan. On the move. I'm surprised we're not hitting contact yet. It sounds so close, so close I can feel it. That's affirmative. But alas, no contact yet. All right. Just gotta keep moving up. Just keep getting ready for it. I'm sure it's gonna be any second, but it's not here yet. Gonna roll Morgan behind. Okay. Wanna keep moving Soylent up on the good cover. Time to motor. 
It's like when you bring out the good china, it's when you give up the good cover for Soylent. I'm on the move. Damn officers. I'm on it, Commander. Alright, Hawking's got a new spot now, and Dobin can move up, on because move. why the hell not? You can't tell me what to do. To Dobin was flying for a second there, you can't tell her what to do. I'm on it. Moving to Overwatch. Okay. Let's keep moving up here. Moving. Come on, where's this contact? I'm starting to feel weird. I don't like this at all. That's affirmative. This is too quiet. Here it is. Come on, come on. Here it is. Ah, come on, kill me. Do it now. Where is this Let's contact? Do I don't like this at all. On the move. I expect contact and it doesn't show up and it just wigs me out. Just wigs me out that there's no contact yet. On my way. I'm on the move. Affirmative. Moving out. Can we start dropping mines. That's how freaked out I'm getting. <laughs> Not really. I just drop mines for no reason. Really, I just enjoy dropping mines. If we can stick one over here. Again, it's the whole. I've got ten mines and no fucks to give. So I may as well start using them. It's that whole thing. That's your mech pod, I think. Hey, you hear anything? Okay, no. It sounds like the rustling's over there now as well. Coming around this side. In the bushes, so they might be in these bushes here. I think, maybe. Possibly. Hmm. Maybe possibly. I think we'll probably reveal if we come around this corner. Headed there now. Contact. Okay, there's your mech. So it's both. One, two, three, four, five. It's both. It's a sectoid. S that looks like more than five. Um, I think it's five sectoids a drone on the mechtoid. One, two, three, four, five sectoids, drone, and a mechtoid. Alright, that is our contact. Gotta put my dice back in the holder. Uh, and now let's see what we want to do. So we don't have absorption fields, so we don't want to just tank this shit like with all that. We can. We can tank it for a reliable number of turns, but we don't really want to. Now if I can bring Paybook up... Subito, comandante. I can chuck mines. Chucking mines is fun. It's healthy. Always chuck mines. Probably gonna want to check it like here. The mechtoid isn't that close, but you need to have sight radius. You need to be in range of the mine for it to actually go off. The mine on the right that we previously established will uh, hopefully keep the sectoids back. And we just need to set up a firing line and get ready to take these sectoids down. Um, Morgan would be well served to get herself in a position where she can observe the mines. But I'm not sure I can do that without exposing her to a lot of fire by dashing. Um, let's see here. How are we going to get everybody into a range? I'd say if I bring Soylent back to this position, Soylent may have a view to the mechtoid next turn about being in range to, you know, die. So bring Soylent back to here. Time to motor. Let's go, Lieutenant Flash. In a flash. Hawk unit can potentially take out this drone for us if he scores the hit. I think though it's more important for Hawk unit to get ready to uh, try and take out the mechtoid of a precision shot. So we'll put him in position. He's not going to do it from that, I don't think, but it's better than nothing. I'm not too concerned about the drone. Okay, what else are we doing here? I think Prowler could probably get a smoke grenade over here, which would be good. In which case, there shouldn't be any problem with sticking Morgan over here to scout. And even sticking Jive over here to get ready to fire. That leaves Dobin to do very little. Except for really scout this right side. Watch for sectoids incoming. Okay, let's go with that then. Let's use that as our battle plan. Got it covered. We'll throw the smoke over and we'll just have everyone be ready. Jive, roll up, roll up. Ooh, don't go up there. <laughs> you are lucky to be alive, Jive. Great job. That was not a great place to run. Um, we'll stick Morgan over here on the side. Moving out. And instead of masking, we'll keep our eyes on. That's not right. Fuck you. That is not right. Okay, so apparently the mechtoid is definitely... In oh, so that is where the mechtoid is. So I actually put it right where the mechtoid is. Well, there you go. Even more goddamn reason to throw smoke over. I'll tell you what. 
Well, that's a bit annoying. Last mission, I should have spawned the smoke later. This mission, I should have spawned the smoke uh, first. I really didn't think it was that close. I didn't think I was in range, but I saw it with Jive, and I still didn't think it was that close. So now what I probably want to do is move up with Petite. I want to be in range of the Mectoid so that Morgan doesn't take all the fire. It's better that Petite does it. Petite doesn't have absorption, but she's still tanky enough, particularly with the benefit of smoke. Um, we'll have to bring Dobin over so Dobin can start Moving. thinking about healing up that assault. Okay. Like I said, it's one man outrunning his own sloppy play. That's the campaign. Not a very ap appealing tagline, but you know what, I try to be honest. Now if I'm lucky, they won't shield the Mectoid before it moves. That would be ideal. Then I'll get the max damage on it. But I feel like that extra sectoid is about to mine merge the mech toy before it moves. Oh, if only the drone would set that mine off. Sadly, no. So the drone's coming in. It's going to be annoying because it's in smoke now, I think. Yay! Oh god, that's getting close. Hopefully I can't see anybody important. That rise should be in the way of anybody who isn't smoked. Okay, we're going to deal some damage to Petite. That's fine. You didn't shoot twice. The smoke stopped you from shooting twice. That's all we need. Mine do a little bit of damage on the right, so I'm glad I set it up. That suppression is not going to last long, my little friend. And it looks like we do have six sectoids, if I didn't miscount. Maybe? No, it's just five. Don't do anything weird. Oh, no. fuck you. No. Please, no. Well, we'll have to clear that with Shnugaf. Don't mind free me. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to science fire anyway. Mind frame me. Fuck you. Waste your turn. So none of them decided that they wanted to... Oh, there are six sectoids. None of them decided they wanted to mind merge the mech toy, which is really interesting. Oh, God. Look out, Dobin. Oh, strong woman. Corporal Dobin gives no fucks. This is only the second time she's been mind frayed like that. So it's time to... It's time to murder mech toids and chew bubble gum. Now let's see if Soylent's positioning is going to pay off here. It is. Soylent is in range to holo target and shred this thing. Which is good, because obviously Petite is the easy way to just double tap this thing. She can solo it. But if I don't use Petite, uh, I can try to stick her in position where she can flame a bunch of sectoids, and that is arguably a lot better. Now, these guys on the right, I can probably just shoot them with the archer and, you know, be done with it. Um, but these guys on the left, they're going to be harder to root out. So I can move up, I can, I can flame them, and it'll be way more fun. Uh, we're also going to need to see inside Spire the Assault. But yes, we're going to start off with Soylent Green here. Good stuff. we still got to figure out how we're going to finish it off, though. We may just have to use the Shogun to finish it off, I think. We don't really have a lot of other choices, because sadly, Hawk Unit isn't in range to really kill it. Hawk Unit isn't really in range to do a lot. Apart from potentially kill a drone. Uh, which is something I'd like him to try to do now. That does not look good. Ooh, that is not good. No, okay, that drone's gonna be a pain in my butt. So, 10. Have you got shock absorbent? Okay, I'd say we can do two birds of one stone here, but hold on. Hawk units. I mean, Dobin. Okay, we need to inspire before we moved. Unless I can catch them both. No, not quite. Really wanted to heal that mech before it moved out here, but it should be fine. So, I think what we'll do is aggressively move up while we're taking care of the mechtoid. This should be good. Getting in close. Ah, probably just not dead. Oh well. Don't worry, it soon shall be. Okay, we're going to want to bring uh, Dobin over here, I think. What's Morgan going to do? Bang, bang, bang. Okay, she's currently suppressed, isn't she? You're not. So we'll bring you over. Alright. I'm on it, Commander. We're not going to reach that, but we will go for the Science Fire here. Science Inspiration. No retreat. No 
Could have done that before Petit left cover, but we didn't. Alright, now we might have a free shot here, we might not. Let's see. Score. I'm still suppressed, maybe I should clear that, huh? I didn't even notice because the range bonuses were so good. Let's clear that suppression. Because clearly that's what we need to be doing right now. It's a strange day, I'm not mining with my archer, but... I decided this would be more fun. Yeah, you're, you're dead. You're very dead. Alrighty, now who's going to finish this off? Only you three. So it makes sense to use you for this. Finish that sucker off. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Tamcon. And then we're just kind of leaving the the mech out there, which I don't really like super much. Um, but hold on. Let's see. I could stick Jive further out here to draw more fire, but the archer's drawing fire as well. I think overall it'll be okay. I don't think it'll be too bad. Oh, I've got sight. I've got sight in another one. That's good. Okay, so we'll go ahead and suppress that one. Got him covered. That's what we want. That's what we're doing. And then we'll go ahead and stick you back in cover. Now that you've been science fired. And that's our turn. So now we just got to face five sectoids. Enemy fire on my position. And I'm thinking it's going to be alright. Huh? Yeah, I, I think we're going to be okay. Sectors can get really scary, like, in the late game, but I don't think we're there yet. Uh, I don't think they've got their big damage upgrades just yet. This one's running as you would when presented with this giant homicidal robot. There you go, okay. They are scary. This one just rolled bad. They are still quite scary, so you're going to come down here and you're going to say no thank you. I don't want any of that. I don't want what you're fucking peddling. I want it to go away now. Thank you. Get that shit out of my face. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna burn a whole lot of these little bitches. What's gonna happen next? Well, we got four left. Okay, so... Wonder if I can wreck them all from here. Tell you what, let's move to this position. Oh, how well the sectoids burn! One, two, three... Scree! Into the skillet! And they're all fucking dead. Right, now let's get some healing over here. That's affirmative. Good on you, Dovin. Good on you, paramedic. Hey, quiet, you big baby. Yeah, fine. you tell him. You tell that long service member of about ten months more than you. You tell him how to do their job. I like your attitude, Dovin. And you fuck them up. Okay. That's right, because Krull will shoot them if they give you any shit. Now we move up with Morgan. I'd like to take this position with Morgan, but you know what? That's going to end up in an outsider killing me, probably, knowing my luck. So we're just running it up to there instead. Wee! I've been sprayed full of morphine and I don't care anymore! Bye oh bye. yeah, alright. Get out of my face, sectoids. Literal alien trash. That's affirmative. That is affirmative, says Jive. Sectoids are literal alien trash. Remove them. Whoops, that's a bad move. Remove them from my sight. Moving. Says Jive. Understood. Moving out. Good to go. Alright, now we sprint towards the UFO. We try to get the sweet juicy meld. And we listen if there are perhaps more aliens out there, though it doesn't sound like it. But there is sweet juicy mill out there. Now, I believe I brought the Arc Thrower on Dobin, so we'll be aware of that. Morgan, let's roll. Aye, aye, Commander. Uh-huh, aye, aye. Petite, let's roll. Everybody, let's just get ready to take them as outsider as fast as possible. Position confirmed. As soon as we do that, we get that sweet meld. On the move. So let's... 
sprint, 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 sprint. Let's do this. Good stuff. Good Position stuff. Confirmed. Come on, Jive. Let's Heading go. There now. Come on, Jive turkeys. Stepping off. Ten four. Let's go, Soylent, who accidentally tripped and didn't get the way to shoot one of the go on last turn. And let's go, Payfork. Avanzo. Reloaded. Anytime, Archer. Right, let's get up the maples. I want this done. I'm on the move. I want this done so we can go home with that meld. Heading there now. That means Dober needs to get herself up here because we will attempt to capture. We will attempt a one-turn capture attempt. And if it doesn't work, fuck you, outsider. I think I've got enough skeleton keys already. Aye, aye, commander. I'm on the move. Come on, Soylent. Hubba, hubba, hubba. Running. Let's go, Hawk unit. Yeah, that'll Good do. Copy. Moving on target. Nice and quick, folks. Nice and quick. Cut to the chase. I don't know why they turn around backwards. It's, it's weird. I don't know why they do that. Good job. Roll up on the right side. I'm rolling. Teat, roll up over here. I'm on my way. So we've been roll up. Moving we're doing a lot up. of rolling up, if you hadn't noticed. Solid copy. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Pop that door open and let's do this breach. What's making that noise? Contact. Oh, guess who isn't getting captured today? It's you. Oh, guess who definitely isn't getting captured today? It's definitely you. Okay. Yeah, you look like a little bit too much trouble. I'll have to do an inventory of how many outsider cores I have when I get home because I'd like to think I don't have to fuck around with this guy. I think I've got plenty of them. We'll see when we get home, I guess. Okay, let's do the collapse without taking out that flight computer. Yeah, pop your collapse right there. Attacking hostile position. Ah, he's still got his cover. It's one of those. Okay, well, he's got to light him up. We're not going to leave him there. We're also not going to want to flank ourselves to him, but we do want to flank him if possible. That does both. Him down. Go, go of God. Already there. Visual on the good. Yep. Nice big shit in your face. That's not going to hit, but I got nothing better to do. <laughs> Suppress him. Copy that. Okay, keep your low uh, low health people out of the line of fire, I'd say. I could dash up to here and attempt to capture next turn, but if he runs to here, Dobin's dead, so I don't really want to attempt that. That's affirmative. Just keep him out of the line of fire, keep him safe. Moving they don't up. need to do anything here. They just need to sit out of the way. Same with the archer. We don't want the archer to take fire. Just sit there and let the uh, the big boys do their job. This is what Titan Armor's for. And Hawking you can't see him either. On my way. But you can now. Good, good for you. Do your worst, kid. I could not give a shit. Interesting that he sat still. Damn, that's a lot of damage. I guess he was going for a like bang on a couple of crits, but shit, man. Ballsy. Alright. I've had about enough of your fun. We'll be removing you from the premises now. Moving to position. Take a shot. And if you don't mind, we're gonna hand it over to Petite. We All right. nailed it, Commander. 
Mission accomplished. No fuss, no muss, aliens removed, UFO is ours. Okay, so Durban and Cruel will be out for a little bit because of that exhaustion, but hey, Hawking not leveled up. Wow, right on the dot too. So that's why Dobin didn't level up yet, because she hasn't got any kills, but he's got three. Put him right in the dot. So we'll likely be looking at... Uh, aggression doesn't work in Bed 14. Uh, we'll likely be looking at either DGG or Executioner. Uh, I'm almost partial to uh, DGG myself, because once I get Archangel... Uh, and he has been built late game. Once I get Archangel, DGG will be the good pick. Plus I can then stack uh, the Illuminated Gunsight on him anyway. Uh, and you're going to have even more benefits. So we'll probably boost... Uh, we'll probably put DGG on him. Boost his aim into the Stratosphere. And we can see about Hawking it being our late game sniper carry. Four sector corpses, drone wrecks, blah blah bleep bloop blop. Let's sell all that crap for me, please. I need an account who just does this for me. Alright, and that's the mission. Alright, now I think of those extra alloys I just scored, what I'm gonna do here is cancel the advanced seven metals project we just started. Turn right around, and now that the extra Titan suit is in my grasp, get a little bit extra money, go for that third Titan suit, which is going to be very nice. Let's get a little bit extra dollars, and let's go for that. So what can I sell here? Um, sell some of these drone racks, methinks. Especially because it takes longer than the advanced server motors, I may still be able to get both, but I'd rather have the extra Titan suit, I think. That's ten days. Um, that works out because that also lets me uh, wait around a little bit longer for someone like, say, Medvey to come on the mission. You know, my infantry, my star infantry, and my star uh, gunner Medvey are out for a bit, so like, there's a little bit more time to prepare. And that extra suit will be really good. That should be my infantry, my gunner, and my assault, all with Titan, which is going to be really good uh, for the mission setup. Now we're going to carry on. Oops. And carry on. Alright, what do we have here? We have a fighter trying to do a bombing run in India. That really doesn't affect anything, but, you know, I don't let fighters go because fuck aliens, pretty much. So we're gonna go up there and get it. Get him with a shotgun. Put him in the time zone. It's an age old trick. We'll see how it goes. Approaching target now. Ouch. They're hitting twice. Get out of there. These guys are starting to hit way too hard. Let's send time zone up there. We're gonna need advanced repair to keep up with these fighters. Engaging bogey. And we're gonna need a tech upgrade soon. On target. You're liable to start losing fighters once they start shooting that quickly because you can't abort as reliably. But, we've got a small, which is very, very good. Okay. Well, it's another small. We're gonna be sending out a team. Bear with me. Alright, much the same principles as uh, last time we're exhausting, quite a few people here and there. Uh, Soylent's getting exhausted, I think you're out here might be getting exhausted. Um, Payfox definitely getting exhausted, um, and Zim's getting exhausted as well. Um, shouldn't leave us with too many gaps in our rosters, it's more that with these two smalls in a row, we still don't have our 18 back in rotation to really fill any gaps. Uh, and, you know, it's still a good chance to train everybody who just went on the last small as well. So people like Soylent are going to get two goes at it, uh, at the training. Which, of course, is really good. Um, yeah, apart from that, we're just going in there again. Just going in there for the, uh, the exact same idea again. Um, what more to say, really? Uh, I might go ahead and take this med kit, actually, and make it into the Neuro Regulator. Get more of that side bonus. Um, but yeah, apart from that, we're just taking in the small uh, crew. Um, I'm trying to train up Zim uh, that little bit. I'm hoping she'll be back for the base assault, and I can use her at Master Sergeant. She should be promoted. If I get her, like, even one kill. So I gotta get her at least one kill on this mission if I can. But yeah, apart from that, it's a small baby. We're gonna go in there and we're gonna train these people up. We're gonna kill some aliens, just like last time. And, yeah, that's gonna be it. Let's do this. Prepare 
for deployment, Strike One. The area of engagement for this mission will be in India. The UFO came down in a sparsely populated area away from any major population centers. We can secure the site with limited danger to the civilians in the area. Well, Blinding Thunder wasn't all that, so we'll see if Operation Fallen Scepter is any more ominous as its name suggests. We are going on the same map, though, at a different time of day. Of course, because time has passed. Makes sense. What do you think? This is a game? Uh, join me next time for Operation Fallen Scepter. Until then, have a good one.